giftings and the substance that he said, I knew your unframed substance. I knew what you was worth before you had a body. And that's why I let you be born the seventh one or the fifth one, the third one or the first one, because I knew what order to line you up in. I knew how much time it would take to create, to establish a form, to put your greatness in. And I also knew that I had to pull from an existing form in order to create you. So that when your substance got into your form, your substance would be challenged by who you come from. Five of you just got that. You are anointed, you are great, but you come from trash. And you got to work through the trash in order to get to the good worth. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. Uh, I ain't talking about your mama. I ain't talking about your daddy. I'm just telling you that before God could make you, he had to use some DNA. And what was wrong in the DNA that he used showed up in your frame. And so what God made sure that he separated your DNA from the frame. So that when your body starts acting a certain way, your substance can tell you that ain't you. I must not be preaching this morning. Look at your neighbor and say, that ain't you. That ain't you. That ain't you. That ain't you. It's not you. And this is the problem that we keep on having. People trying to be something that they are not. But this is what he says. He says, I fearfully and I wonderfully made you, and I made you so wonderful that even if you decided that you out of here, your substance will keep on bringing you back. 